fourth graders from Hamilton Elementary took an end of the school year field trip to the Coon Rapids Senior Center. Every time I bring the kids here, the seniors are so tickled. And some of them tell the kids to call them grandma or grandpa. <laughs> the kids saw faces they'd never seen before. And so each student found their name on a place card on the table and instantly they made a connection. This was the first meeting between pen pals. Kids don't write letters, right? That's kind of getting to be a lost art. So just the art of writing to somebody and making those connections. It began back in January when the students got the name of their pen pal and the letter writing assignment from Miss Newlin. Okay, what other thing could you possibly be curious about with your pen pals? Let's make a list. The students were asked to write at least two letters each month. Some of my kids are very prolific and <laughs> they're writing like multiple times a week. I earned like $40 this year um, uh, from, making, from selling stuff. Lorray said to her pen pal friend, Cheryl Albers. Cheryl recalls the first letter she got from Lorray and now the two were face to face able to talk over a lot of their favorite things, like ice cream. She likes the ice cream that's not on there. She likes Superman ice cream. I never heard of Superman ice cream. And even though the games they like to play may be different. Oh, 65. Oh, 65. Some of the people who are writing have been writing ever since we started. And so it's kind of fun to see those familiar faces every year. Turns out letter writing was a great way to make connections between the generations after all, despite differences in age, deep down we have a lot in common.